We know that Tony Romo turned 34 earlier in the week, and then off-season workouts began this week. He was there coming off back surgery. What's the game plan here? If he's good to go, backup situation right now with the Cowboys moving down the line. Well, the Cowboys are certainly encouraged that Romo coming off the most recent back surgery was able to throw as they began their off-season strength and conditioning program. But keep in mind, he's had two back surgeries. He's turned 34. Troy Aikman retired after a single back operation when he was 34. And it was the back with Aikman and not concussions, as so many people uh, believe, that forced him to retire. The Cowboys are concerned about the backup position because of Romo's fragility at this point in his career and because they no longer can trust that Kyle Orton is going to be there. So yesterday you saw him move to sign Caleb Haney, former Bears quarterback, uh, made several starts for them two years ago. They also remember signed Brandon Whedon, the former number one pick of the Browns. So those are their backups. And the reason is that even though Orton has a year remaining on his contract, he's absent from the beginning of the voluntary conditioning program. And he told the coaching staff upon doing his exit physical at the end of last season that he was considering retirement. There are people in the organization who believe that is what Orton wants to do. He wants to retire. The problem is he'd be walking away from $3 million base salary this year and he'd have to repay $3 million of his signing bonus that he's already received. So most people, including Jerry Jones, have always believed that having to repay $3 million would force Orton back. But now Kyle Orton wants to retire. He just doesn't want to repay the money that he's already been given. So one potential solution for him, do all of the mandatory stuff, go to training camp, get cut.